What is up gamers? It is the Bandit Snowman and this is Dawn of Man. If this is your guys' first time here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell to stay up to date on all of my latest content. Guys, I apologize. It's been a while since I made a video, I'll be honest guys. I kind of had something happen. We had our baby about a week early. And so now I have a beautiful baby girl. Her name is Lily and she is an absolute freaking doll and I love her so much. I'm so happy guys. Everybody is happy and healthy. Um, we've been home for about a little over almost two weeks now. Um, so I was kind of taking a break from everything. We were trying to get our new rhythm and everything going. So yeah guys, so we are back in Dawn of Man. I'm super pumped. We need to get, I turned up the speed. We need to get to, we need to get some unlocked here. I'm thinking we might go defenses to build walls, so our fortifications. We might go mining, I haven't decided yet. And then there's this down here, which is kind of odd. This is the last thing in the spirituality like tree. Um, so this megalithism, I'm thinking it has something to do with this, this thing right here, megalith. Requires megalithism. I'm thinking that might be what we might end up doing. We don't really, I mean, we haven't been attacked by anything, knock on wood. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think we might go ahead and unlock, unlock that. I mean, defenses would be great, but it looks like we could build stuff and let's see, how is morale? Uh, let me see here, how do I check that? Been so long since I've played. Let me see here, manage. Um, <laughs> stats. Everybody actually seems to be, settlement's doing good. Nobody's like way upset or anything, it looks like. Yeah, looks like everybody's doing doing good here. So, hey, look at that. That didn't take long. Um, so we could go ahead and move forward on our domestication. We could domesticate sheep or we could do pulses. I'm thinking, guys, we might try this megalithism just because it's the last thing in the chain here. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what happens. Mega, oh, here we go. Allows you to build megalithic structures that increase the settlement's prestige. So that's good. And help improve morale. So there we go. Kind of nipping it in the bud, and we've got one close here. So let's go ahead and do that. An Ibex has escaped. Well, that's fine. Let's miss all of these. We've already, we're already up to three. So I think maybe the next thing we unlock would be defenses. And then we can work on building a wall around our city. Uh, I don't know how big I want the wall. I haven't really decided. I don't know if I want to encompass the fields we have and come out and around. Uh, it's, it, it's a tough decision. I do know. Let's see. Go ahead and get these trees out of here. And I know we're moving around. Oh, okay, no. We're moving along at pretty good speed here. Look at that. This thing's already ready to go. Prep for transport. Oh, trader has arrived. So let's see. What do they have for us? They've got, they are a low commission trader. So if we're gonna get something, we might as well get it now. Um, and they have like nothing. Flint spear, what's the commission on that? Three, hmm. And I find it weird they have commission, but whatever. <sighs> I mean, we don't really need anything. Straw, we'll just take whatever's cheap. Like one. We don't really need it, but... Go ahead and trade them one flint axe. Could get a goat. Um, 75, whoa. That is some commission. Yeah, never mind. We're just going to leave it at that. We'll just keep, you know, trade relations good with them. We don't want to upset them. All right, guys. So let's see. The other thing, let's see. Mud. I'm trying to think. What else do we need? I wonder what our workload is. We're at 12% workload. I think everybody is doing just fine. Megalith is ready for transport. Whoa. Okay. So I don't know what this will do. But let's see. Can we build something spiritually? Oh, there it is. So it looks like each of these things requires, so it looks like this min, min here requires one megalith, a dolmen requires three, and a stone circle requires six. Holy crap. Um, let's go ahead and just do that. And we're gonna place it, place it right here at the, right here at the corner. That's fairly close. So I don't foresee that being too big of an issue. Um, oh snap, look at that. So one guy just comes over here and just starts hauling two guys. We survived another winter. Three. Looks like the more people you get, the quicker it goes. 
All right. So, oh, snap. Look at that. You can really, hang on. Let's slow this down. You can really watch them build it. It's so, okay. The devs in this game, guys, did an amazing job. This is really cool details to put into a game like this. Usually, you know, a tycoon game or a, a sim build, building game, it just kind of, uh, it's there. It real fast happens. But you can actually kind of watch it happen. It looks like they've got low morale. So, that's, it's good that we're building this. This might help her out. Drad. The woman named Drad. So let's see. Oh man, it's going along. So I tell you what, we're going to speed up time just a little bit. Or a lot. We got, looks like we got some new people coming. Hey, look at that. So we got our first Megalith. And that gave us 5 prestige. So that's kind of cool. We got 100 Tannin. We hunted 5 Mufalins. So we are already ready to unlock our fortifications, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. Unlocks the construction of basic defensive structures that can be used to protect your settlements against raiders and predators in order to minimize loss of life. Sounds good to me. So let's go ahead. Let's get these trees out of the way. Let's clear some stuff out here. I don't know how I want... I don't know if I want the wall... If it can shoot right through here... That'd be great and just come straight over. Um, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But yeah, guys, I'm excited. We've got defensives now. Defenses. Defensives. Defenses now. So that's awesome. Go ahead and move this work area. And the other thing I want us to get ahead on is some tannin. Let's see. that we can collect all sorts of tannin right there i wish we could domesticate this little horse here but i don't think that's going to happen that's it's a ways down the ways down the line there so let's go ahead here i'm going to leave them on fast forward we've got our defenses and let's see do we want you know there was a gate that makes sense you need a gate to get in and out so a gate so let's go ahead and do it right here and maybe one right here Straight across, or maybe over here at the edge. Let's do it over here at the edge, just because we might. Eh, we might do all three, just because we've got all this going on right here, this hunting and everything. So I guess we'll go ahead and get our gates up first. Mm, tell you what, let's go ahead. Okay, how do I do this? I click. Oh, click and drag. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is actually kick it out a little further. I have to avoid that thing right there. So we'll just kind of take this up like this. Maybe. Yeah, that'll work. This gate, this is not... So that's our first one. It's not going to be too good. Oh, no storage spots left? So let's go ahead and build some more storage. Now I'm trying to think of how I, I don't want to interfere with this. Let's go ahead and try to connect. We'll do that. And then we'll just kick it right on over. Perfect. Look at that. So we've got our first little section like going here. I'm thinking we might need to come up here and kind of come around. Then we have our fields in there. I feel like this is a lot of unnecessary wall building. Oh, if we do it just like that, looks like we can get everything in there. Perfect. So let's go ahead and look at that. Oh, look at that. It cuts right through there. So we have one field on the outside and one on the inside, and we're able to kind of just make it look a little better. Maybe the fields will slow them down. I don't know. Oh, wait. We were thinking about putting a gate over here. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Let's do a gate. Do it right there. I know there's no storage spots left. You're supposed to build the storage building. 
and then you'll have plenty of storage spots. So, all right, guys, we're, we're kind of moving along here. We've got a good little thing going. All right, so I think I need to build this in smaller sections just so I can kind of make it curve and do what I want. Just like that. I think I can just come straight down. That'll work out perfect. Look at that. So we do have to take this tree out down here. This fir tree. All right, so guys, we are just moving right along. Our little settlement is growing in leaps and bounds. We're getting more people here all the time. Yeah, that connects perfectly. So it's not the straightest, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it, it works, guys. So the other thing I saw in here, it looks like we also have defensive structures, watchtowers. The basic tower from which to shoot at enemies. So let's go ahead, we'll put one here. This will be, oh man, nobody is getting in here unless we want them to. We are like growing in quite the little, we're more than just a tri, like a little village now. We're, we've got 33 people, we're almost a, like a, yeah, we're not a city. I was getting a little... It's like, man, we're almost a city now, but... Sledge, sledge. Okay, I don't know why those are just in the way. We're still good on food and leather and all that. So we'll go ahead and build that there. Build another one down over here. Or, well, we'll build... I'm thinking everywhere it curves. You see these where it kind of turns. I'm thinking we might put one there. I don't think you can have too much defense, so. Man, guys, so this has taken a lot of resources, but I think in the end it'll be worth it. To protect our little, protect our little settlement, because we are growing very fast. I don't think anybody will come from this rock, but that rock might go away one day, so. That should be good. We've got enough coverage then. So everybody's just going to work away on that. We've got our fields going right here. I want to clear cut, I think, this. I know this is where we hunt. I want to clear cut this, I think, and then maybe do some more fields right here. So let's go ahead and build a work area. Can we get tan in from right here? No. So let's just clear cut the whole forest here. All right. So we're going quite a ways. We're going to need all these logs we can get for... Where did that thing go? We're gonna make that kind of a high priority and we need you know 100 percent logs at all times from them Oop. all right so we're, we're we're doing good we've got our defenses kind of going it looks like they've started on a section of the wall got our gates we got those going they've got one defense tower going there's that move that right there Get rid of oh those are that sticks is this tannin up here that tannin is the weirdest one yet I think no storage left all right so we need more storage um okay so I guess we can't build on like a weird little slope right here all right then so that's odd but whatever go ahead and set these to upgrade and we'll upgrade all these huts to houses there we go all right guys so our little village is growing pretty quick i have to say i've been saying that quite a bit i know um but yeah guys we're moving so let's go ahead and we'll kick these guys up to full speed um got our first storage hut got our first watchtower and the trader is here all right, so what? Oh, low commission trader again, so that's good. Why don't we take all their tannin? Don't really need bows or fish. Don't want a goat. Take the linen. We'll take the logs too. So it's 23. We'll give them a spear and some meat. There we go. So we still have 70 cured meat, so we're good on food. 
So we're at four. So I'm thinking the next thing we'll unlock is either going to be this underground mining, maybe the weaving, or well digging. That might be handy. I don't know. I think it might be mining or weaving. I haven't decided. We'll figure it out. We'll see what we need. Because we have... How much flint do we have? Ooh, we only have nine flint. I guess we should set up some flint work areas. Oh, and we need to finish a section of the wall. Perfect. Our wall is completely outlined now, guys. Trip for too long, we have a wall. Look at everybody going. I bet our workload is like 133%. It is ridiculous. So everybody's doing good. They've got multiple tasks to do. Milking the goats and harvesting everything, which I want to set this to the high priority. Raider attack, hang on. Slow everything down. Everybody, wait. <gasps> Look at this, defense. Oh, that's awesome. So we can alert everybody to kind of, hey, there's raiders coming. And then can we, it looks like we can close the gates. Close all the gates. You're not in yet? Well, I mean, the wall's not done, so. Looks like we got two raiders coming at us. And they're going straight for the watchtower. So how's this watchtower gonna handle this? So this watchtower is actually not doing bad. Almost got her dead. All right. So we, we're not even having anybody like hurt. Oh, this watchtower though. Oh, that watchtower is not very strong. So we should have just sent everybody out. So let's call this off. Um, should have just sent everybody out to kill them and we would have been done. But man, those watchtowers, they're not bad, I have to say. That was, uh, it stood up pretty stinking good. Are we, are we not scanning them or any? I guess we're not cannibals, so. Um, so that watchtower, it held up pretty decent. It took out one by itself and half of another one before it went down. So, I mean, it's not bad. Now, I'm assuming as technology gets better, they might not hold up as good. But we can always upgrade them. So we'll get that one upgraded into a storage hut. So we need... I'm thinking we might need to make some more... Some more stuff. So let's go ahead and make more flint spears. And maybe some more bows. And let's see. I think everybody's got a knife. I think we're okay on that. Everybody's got flint knife. 17. Go ahead and make a few more of those. And then we definitely need sickles for the harvest. We've got 19 sickles. That's probably a good amount, actually. So let's go ahead and just make another bow. All right. So we are moving, guys. This is great. We've just held off our first bit of raiders. Um, and it was no problem. We didn't lose anybody. Why are we not getting... Going to... Okay. Everybody's going to get that. So that's good. Let's go ahead and move this work area. Right there. All right. Perfect. And it looks like there's blueberries right there. Let's create another work area for berries. Perfect. All right, guys. So we're just really kind of waiting. Let's speed everything back up. We're just kind of waiting now to finish building our homes because our population density Oh, well, our capacity is at zero right now because we're building more. This hill right here is kind of throwing us off. And look at that, guys. Just like that, we are... We've unlocked this. So, we can... Once again, we can do our sheeps and our pulses. Or we could do mining. I think we might do mining, and that might speed up our flint. So, it allows you to build mines on top of deposits. Mines dramatically increase the amount of resources you can extract from a deposit. Perfect. So, workload is too high, probably. Um, let's go ahead. I feel so bad for him, but I don't. Okay, so flint mine. So let's go ahead. Where is a flint deposit? Um, let's turn on primal vision. Oh, right here. Wow, okay. So there's one, there's one, and there's one. Perfect. Why don't we just build three of them right here? Perfect. And one more. 
perfect. What are these? There's another one. An iron. Man, we actually have a pretty. Ooh, make a lift. Get that. Um, we've actually got a pretty good little like amount of ore and all that around us. So we're gonna definitely have to remember that. So look, here's some copper. What is that? Iron, tin, iron, birch trees. So I mean, hey, we're we're not bad guys as far as resources go. This is this will be a pretty good little uh, little thing for us. So let's make sure everybody's moving. We've had one person die. Workload is too high. And between the amount of tasks people are trying to do and the total amount of people, yeah. Oh man, another one just died. So that's not helping our workload out at all. Everybody would like to sleep. So let's go ahead and make these the high priority. Huts. Why don't we make the huts the highest priority for now? Let everybody kind of get those done. Um, and it looks like these are getting harvested. That needs to be high priority. Perfect. We've got straw coming in. Great. Trader has arrived. What do you bring for us today, my dear? So this is a high commission trader. Um... So I'm curious then. Uh, you've got like high end stuff too, straw. So it's a one value. So that's a, know, where's the 10? So it's a one and a half times pretty much. All right, no, nope, we don't want anything from you. Goodbye. So we got the megalith right here. We've got our menir, min here. That should help our morale. I forgot how to look at morale. Uh, that's not it. Stats. So welfare is good. Our prestige is going up. Oh, man. Nope. Activity. So we've got one person unproductive, it looks like, at all times. Not much progress. Hmm. We're about to freaking unlock some more here. I think the next one might be well digging. Oh, bear attack. Whoa! The thing just like waltzed right into camp and... Alright, so I feel bad. We need to take care of the babies too. Let's go ahead and speed things up here. I can't believe we just had a bear just waltz right into camp and just take it out. That's crazy. Alright, so everybody's tired. I know, guys. We're... I feel bad. So, we need one more knowledge point to unlock something else. We need to get these huts done. There, everything's, it's all, they're all set to highest priority, so I mean. Feeding animals, so we need to make sure we have plenty of straw for the animals. I love how the kids even come out and work here, but. Man, guys, I tell you, we are just moving right along. So, I think, let's see, new human born. So, we're replenishing our. Our population here. Where are you going? Going to sledge. Where's the sledge? Oh, he looks like he killed something all the way out here. And so I wouldn't mind. Oh, it requires sheep domesticators. So Mouflin are sheep, and Ibex are the goats. Good to know. All right. So we're bringing in the straw, bringing in stone, bringing in sticks. We're just moving, guys. This is great. I think we need to set another hunting. Oh, yeah. We're about to. I don't want our meat sources to get too low here. So let's set a hunting area. Anything that comes right there. Fishing's good. Mud. Should probably set up another mud area, guys. We want mud. We want, you know, maybe two people on that. We have no flint. We get 100 units. Flint mine. So there we go. So we're out of flint, but we do have a flint mine now. Perfect. People are just mining that like no other. So it looks like it just continually... Oh, space for one human. So hang on. Need a human. Ancient miner. So there we go. We just have our first person mining now. All right, 
looks like when they go in there the temperature goes up because I saw her little temperature gauge go up quite a bit so we got our structure so we're gonna end today guys by picking out our next thing I'm thinking we might do sheep domestication just because there's plenty of them running around although the well digging would be really handy because then we wouldn't have to go outside the defenses for water I don't see weaving required for weaver I mean that would help hmm this is a tough one guys I tell you what we're actually gonna end it right here and when we come back next time we're gonna decide on what we need to get and how we're gonna advance guys so I appreciate everybody for stopping by as always if this is your first time don't forget to like and subscribe guys I appreciate it so much if you enjoyed what you see smash that like button guys check out some more of my videos guys Leave me some comments. Knowing what you guys like and leaving comments, that tells me you guys are enjoying the content or I need to move on and entertain you guys some other way because that's what I'm here for. So, guys, appreciate it as always for stopping by and stay frosty, gamers.